This video shows how to run a mapping using pushdown optimization with Informatica Cloud Data Integration. In this video, we'll learn what pushdown optimization does, how to run a pushdown preview job, and how to run a mapping using pushdown optimization. Pushdown optimization converts a mapping's data logic into an SQL query and uses database commands to run the logic in the database. Mappings are processed closer to where the data resides, improving mapping performance and reducing ingress and egress costs. Before running a mapping using pushdown optimization, you can run a pushdown preview job to generate an SQL query, preview how the query transforms the data, and manually test the query in the database to validate the query results. Let's look at an example. Here we have a mapping that pushes data processing to a Snowflake data warehouse. It implements a type 2 slowly changing dimension. When new values are added, a new row is created for the new value, and the existing rows are maintained for historical and reporting purposes. The source transformation reads the data from Snowflake. Then the mapping generates a hash for each row in the source to test whether the data has changed. If the data has changed, the mapping decides whether to add a new row to the target or to update an old row and passes the data to one of the two target objects. The first target transformation performs an insert operation to add new rows to the target database, and a sequence generator transformation generates identifiers for the new rows. The second target transformation performs an update operation to update existing rows in the target database. Now, let's run a pushdown preview job to preview the SQL queries. Select a runtime environment, then click Next. Now select the type of pushdown optimization. For this job, let's use full pushdown optimization. The full option pushes all of the mapping logic to both the source and target databases. We can select an optimization context type to merge multiple SQL queries into one optimized query. We'll keep this option set to None. We'll also select Create Temporary View and Create Temporary Sequence. The mapping needs a temporary database view to run custom SQL queries on the source object, and it needs a temporary sequence object to run the sequence generator transformation. Now we're ready to run the pushdown preview. We can see that data integration generated two SQL queries, one query for each target transformation. To test and verify the mapping results, we can run the data preview, or we can run these queries directly in our database workspace. After testing and verifying the data, we're ready to run the mapping using pushdown optimization. To run the mapping, we need to first create a mapping task. Enter a name for the mapping task and select a runtime environment. On the schedule page, go to pushdown optimization and select the same options we used for the pushdown preview job. Then run the mapping task to process the data in the database. And that's it. In this video, we showed you how to use cloud data integration too run a pushdown preview job, and run a mapping using pushdown optimization.